October 1st, while synonymous with Nigeria's independence from British colonial rule, is also a significant day for the people of Bielsa State. Bielsa, a state in the core of the Niger Delta region of Nigeria, was created on the 1st of October 1996 with the beautiful city of Yenegoa as its capital. It borders Delta State to the west and River State, which it was formerly a part of, to the east. Blessed with the largest crude oil and natural gas deposits in the country, Bielsa State is also known as the glory of all lands and is central to Nigeria's oil-driven economy. Its Oloibiri local government area is a site of Oloibiri oil field where oil in commercial quantity was first discovered in Nigeria in 1956 and as of 2015 was estimated to produce 30 to 40 percent of the country's oil. It also has the largest gas reservoir, some 18 trillion cubic feet, in Nigeria. Though an oil producing state, the people are mostly into fishing as a result of the state having lots of rivers. They're also into farming, palm oil production, palm wine, lumbering, dry gin, trading, carving, and weaving, among other things. Bielsa's River Rhine and Esther Rhine Setting is about the longest coastline in the West African sub-region, making the state a major tourist destination. The state is home to the Edumanom Forest Reserve. In June 2008, the last known site for chimpanzees in the Niger Delta. The Akasa Lighthouse is a northern landmark of the state that has stood since 1910. Since the creation of Bielsa State, it has seen four administrators, two acting governors, and six governors. The current being His Excellency, Senator Doyadiri, who the people call the Miracle Governor by way of both his ascension to office and leadership style. A former school teacher, a businessman, seasoned politician, and lawmaker, Senator Deary, on assumption of office on February 14, 2020, hit the ground running with people-oriented policies and programs that aimed to steer Bielsa away from its monolithic dependence on oil to an agricultural and business-driven economy that would create wealth for its citizens. In line with its campaign manifesto, Consolidation for Prosperity Agenda, Governor Deary embarked on several landmark infrastructural development projects in less than 24 months in office and despite complications of the COVID-19 pandemic. Completion and issuance of operating license to the Bielsa State Cargo International Airport. Award of contract and flagger for the construction of the Collapse Elebele Bridge, 4.5 km Igbedi Road and Phase 2 of the Glory Drive. Expansion and beautification of a Depier Etegwe roundabout. Rehabilitation of the Sabagre or Bokuma Road. Completion and commissioning of the reconstructed Imirinji Bridge. Completion, equipping, and commissioning of a Kayama Referral Hospital to be replicated in the rest of the seven local government headquarters. Governor Deary also remobilized contractors back to site for the construction of the Yenugua Okurama Road, construction of the Sagbama Ekaremo Road, Igbogene AIT Outer Ring Road, and completion of the Isaac Borough Expressway. The dualization of the Yenegwe Road Junction, Kolo Otueke Bayasa Palm Road, the commencement of repairs and rehabilitation of damaged internal roads in Yenegwe Metropolis. Other milestone impacts is the massive investment in agriculture with the allocation of land and provision of seedlings to about 3,500 selected farmers in the eight local government areas of the state. 
regular and prompt payment of salaries to civil servants. The release of 200 million naira monthly for the payment of long outstanding pensions. Introduction of Dury Boost initiative to empower young Bielsons interested in small and medium scale enterprises. Others of the National Housing Program site at Elebele in Obia local government area, Ibogane AIT Ring Road under the state government and the Federal Secretariat which is 80% completed. Security status of the state has improved tremendously with a drastic reduction in crime and violence. His swift intervention in various ethnic clashes, tensions and unrest in the state show his commitment to a safer and peaceful Bayelsa. Capacity building program he believes is one that starts from the ground up, catching them young and empowering them as they grow. These he captured by planning eight new technical and vocational secondary schools in the eight local government areas of the state. To further ensure the security of life and properties is Governor Deary's move to significantly improve the Duakbo, the state-owned arm of the police force with some security hardware as well as the donation of buses to help carry out their duties effectively. With all these social and civil service reforms, human capacity development and welfare management initiatives, it is evident that Governor Doe Deary remains resolute to do even more in his quest to put smiles on the face of Bielsons.